Online Learning New Student Overview. By the end of this orientation, you should be able to answer the following questions. What to expect when you're taking your online course? What technology requirements? What basic computer skills are needed? How and when you should log into your online course? How to participate in your course and turn in work? Where to purchase your textbook? What student support services are available to you? And who to contact if you have any questions? What should I expect when taking my online course? When taking your online course, you should expect that all of your course content and your assignments will be available on Brightspace, our new online learning management system. You should also expect to have a certain level of independent learning. This means you should have self-motivation, discipline, and great time management skills. Just be aware that feedback from your instructor will occur between 24 and 48 hours. Frequent participation is key to your success in your online course. The more you participate, the better your experience. Flexible and convenient to a degree, but it is not a correspondence course. So in other words, make sure that you're aware that you have a syllabus to follow, which will tell you when to participate and when to submit your assignments. Myths versus reality. Here are a list of myths and their reality when it comes to online courses. Myth number one, online courses are easier than face-to-face -face course. Reality, they can be a little bit harder depending on your skill level and it can definitely involve more commitment than a face-to-face -face course. Myth number two, online courses are self-paced. So in other words, I can just participate and turn in work whenever I want to. Not exactly. You do have a syllabus that guides you on when you should submit your assignments and participate in your course. Online courses are not as engaging as face-to-face -face courses. Reality is that they are just as engaging as face-to-face -face courses if you use the interactive conference tools, participate in discussions, and that you give frequent communication with your peers and your instructor. Time commitment. In your online course, you should expect to spend approximately three to four hours per credit hour per week. So an example of that would be one course that's worth three credit hours will require you about nine to 12 hours of homework that you need to complete. To make sure you don't fall behind, plan a weekly schedule to include your online coursework. Academic dishonesty and plagiarism. Always do your best in your online course to submit original work and paraphrase when necessary, and always document your sources. If you're unfamiliar with the CCC Academic Dishonesty and Plagiarism Policy, please refer to your student policy manual on page 70. Be aware that some of your online courses may use Turnitin plagiarism software that your instructor will have available to support you in avoiding plagiarism. Computer Technology Requirements As an online student, we require that you have access to a computer. It can be a personal one, a family one, your local library system, or you can use the computer labs that are located at one of the seven CCC campuses. PC or Mac can be used, but be aware that a Mac computer may not be compatible with some of our computer science courses, and you should have access to a PC to complete the rest of your work. Mobile Devices you should not depend on a mobile device solely to participate in your online course. Make sure you have access to a computer to complete your assignments. Internet access. Make sure you have stable, high-speed internet access when participating in your course. Make sure you have the latest browser and plug-in software updates on your computer. Remember the golden rule. Always have a backup plan. Basic computer skills. As an online student, we ask that you have the basic computer skills you see on the screen. From internet browsing to installing software, make sure you're comfortable doing all of these items. To log into your online course, you have two options. 
Options one is to go to your CCC student portal website at my.cc.edu and use your username and password. Or option two, you can go directly to Brightspace at brightspace.ccc.edu and put in your username and password to access your course that way. When do I log into my course? All online learning courses are available on the first day of class. Once you get into your course, you are required to complete your first week assignments. After that point, you are encouraged to log into your course at least three times a week. If you fail to complete your first week assignments, it means that you'll be issued an NSW, which we call a no-show withdrawal, and you'll be dropped from the class. Meaning no tuition is refunded and your financial aid may be affected, as well as you may pay a fee. If you are actively participating in your course at the beginning of the semester, but you fail to participate in your course by midterm, then you may end up getting what we call an ADW, which is administrative withdrawal, and you will be dropped from the class around midterm. How do I participate in my online course? As an online student, you're going to participate in your course in a variety of ways. And here are the most common ones. First way is using Brightspace, which is our student learning management system. Inside of Brightspace, there are discussion boards, there are assignments, group assignments, and even turning in assignments. You may also use Collaborate Ultra, which is our live, interactive online tool. You may also use your CCC student email. To access your student email, you're going to go to my.ccc.edu, your student portal, and then look for the Outlook icon. Be aware that online courses require all students to use their student email account. You may also have proctored and non-proctored exams. How do I participate in my online course with exams? In your online course, you're going to have two different types of exams. You're either going to have non-proctored, which means the exams are taken at home through Brightspace and you do not have to go anywhere, or you're going to have proctored exams, which means you're going to have to come to one of the seven city colleges and the proctoring centers that are there and take your exam on a computer. If your course is listed below, then that means you have a proctored exam and you need to sign up for it. How do I participate in my online course with proctored exams using TimeTrack? If your course has a proctored exam, then you need to schedule an appointment using TimeTrack, our online scheduling system. To access TimeTrack, you can go to my.cc.edu, your student portal homepage. Once there, you want to click on the This Semester button at the top, then click on Class Schedule, and then Time Trade. You can also access Time Trade from a window on the right side that says Proctored Exams and Schedule a Proctored Exam, as the image shown below. If you need help, support is available via email at timetradesupport at ccc.edu. At this time, there is no phone support. Please also refer to your confirmation email to cancel or reschedule your exam. Where do I purchase textbooks? You can purchase your textbooks online through Academos CCC's online bookstore website. If you wish to purchase your textbook from a different bookstore, we ask that you visit Academos website first and make sure that you have all of the correct course materials, author, edition, and ISBN number. If you find out the information is different, then you may have to purchase your books from Academos. Just remember, if you do purchase your books from Academos, you can use your financial aid. Who do I contact for support? While taking your online course, there are many ways in which you can get support. If you have technical issues with Brightspace, your password, or accessing your CCC email, then we ask that you contact technical support via phone 312-553-2600 or their technical support website. If you have questions about assignments or course content, we ask that you reach out to your instructor, either via email and or phone that you can find in your Brightspace course or your syllabus. If for some reason you have an issue with your instructor, 
we ask that you first communicate your issue with them. And if it is not resolved, then you can contact the corresponding department here at Harold Washington College. So for instance, if you are in a math course, then you would come to a math department here at Harold Washington. You would ask to speak to an academic online coordinator. The academic online coordinator or AOC is someone who is directly responsible for the online courses. If you have a question regarding your grade in your course or how the course was conducted, again, we ask you to start with your instructor. If your issue is not resolved at that level, then you can always go to the corresponding department here at Harold Washington College and ask to speak to an academic online coordinator or department chair. If you feel that your issue was not resolved on that level, then you can come to Harold Washington College and ask to speak to an associate dean of instruction. You would make an appointment and he or she will assist you. If your problem does not get resolved on that level, then you can always ask to speak to a Dean of Instruction here at Hill Washington College. If for some reason your issue is still not resolved and you still need to speak to someone, you can always ask to speak to the Vice President here at Hill Washington College. Most issues that students have or concerns are usually done on the department level or the Associate Dean of Instruction level. What student support services are available to me as an online student? Well, one, you have access to free online tutoring. We call it Smart Thinking. It's available 24-7. You can either drop in, you can make an appointment, or you can submit your work. 90% of those tutors have master's and or doctorate degrees. To access Smart Thinking, you'll find a link in your Brightspace course. You also have access to your academic advisor who you can see on your local campus. You also have access to Grades First. Grades First will give you the ability to send a message to your academic advisor through Brightspace. You also have access to all of the wellness centers. If you're stressed out or you just need personal assistance, the wellness centers are here for you on all seven campuses. Disability Access Centers, if you feel you need to use those services, we highly suggest that you go in and you get registered and they will be able to help you find the accommodations you need. Libraries, there are access to all the libraries on each seven campus, as well as I believe there's access online uh, through the main portal. Legal Clinic, at Harold Washington College, there is a free legal clinic that you can utilize. They're available to any student and they can help you with a variety of issues or problems. Test your knowledge. Now that you've gone through this video presentation, please take the time to review the questions you see here on the screen to make sure you can answer them. And if you have any additional questions, please reach out to Online Learning and have a wonderful semester.